Police say that heroin is likely to have played a role in the death of the writer and TV presenter Peaches Geldof. An inquest into the death of the 25-year-old was told that scientific tests had revealed recent use of heroin. Her mother, Paula Yates, had died from an accidental heroin overdose 14 years ago, as Cordelia Lynch reports. After weeks of speculation, today an inquest heard heroin played a role in Peaches Geldof's death. She was just 25, a mother of two, found at home in Kent by her husband, Tom Cohen, and his mother just over three weeks ago. The inquest heard Peaches Geldof was found by her husband slumped across the bed in the spare room. He then called out for his mother and they quickly located 11-month-old baby Phaedra before calling emergency services. The night before, she'd called a friend. She'd been planning a family day out and, according to those she spoke to, seemed to be acting normally. Her friends, like Jonathan Levi, want people to focus on her achievements now, not the way she died. I really hope that Peaches will be remembered as a grown-up, as somebody that had made a transition from being a difficult teenager to a rather sophisticated, quite impressive grown-up who had passions and felt passionately about things like gay marriage, about attachment parenting, about the need for more positive female role models in pop. I really hope she's remembered for some of the things she really passionately believed in, rather than the way in which she might have died. You could call my dubbed by the press wild child <laughs> period was when I was, you know, 16 years old and now I'm a 24, almost 25 year old woman. Definitely motherhood changed me in a lot of ways. You know, it grounded Aww. me. But she had long been haunted by the death of her mother, Paula Yates. She died of a heroin overdose in 2000. She too was alone with her young child, Peach's sister. This was the last picture Peaches posted. Today's revelations came as a surprise to some of her friends. I wasn't aware of her battle with drugs recently, but I think there was a lot in the public eye, some of which came from her directly about her demons and her addiction issues and her drug issues in the past. And she has left behind many troubling questions. Some may be answered at a full inquest in July.